Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. When we multiply this, we get z square p square plus z square q square and on the other side, we have x square plus y square. So here we find the product of z with p and z with q and z is having the power. So this is of the form f of z power m into p in the same way z power m into q and also we have x and y terms. So our equation is in this form. So for this we are going to rewrite in such a way we get p and q without any powers. So we have z into p whole square. It means p is not having any power. We have whole square. And the same way, next is z into q whole square equal to x square plus y square. Now, comparing with z power m into p and z p, we come to know the value of m which is the power of z is 1 here. Now, when m is other than minus 1, we go for substitution which is z is small z power 1 plus m when the power is not equal to minus 1. So we took this substitution. Now when I differentiate this dou capital z by dou small z it is 1 plus m into z power 1 plus m minus 1. So it will be only m. So in our case the value of m is 1. So when I substitute m in z we get z is z power 2 and from this dou z by dou small z will be 2 z. Now generally we take small p as dou z by dou x and small q as dou z by dou y. Now we are going to take dou capital Z by dou x which is our capital P. But this can be rewritten as dou capital Z by dou small z into dou small z by dou x. Now capital P will become this dou z by dou z is 2z and this is small p. So from this we get capital P by 2 is z into p. In the same way when we take capital Q which is dou capital Z by dou y and this can be rewritten as capital dou z by dou small z into dou small z by dou y and now q will be this is anyway 2z from here 2z and dou z by dou y we have taken a small q so we take it here so from this q by 2 will be z q after getting z p and z q we are going to substitute in this equation 1. So now z p whole square it is p by 2 whole square capital P by 2 whole square plus z q whole square which is capital Q by 2 whole square and on the other side we have x square plus y square. So x square plus y square and this one we can rewrite it as capital P square by 4 plus capital Q square by 4 equal to x square minus y square and this can be rearranged sorry plus y square this can be rearranged in the form of 
f of x p and x on one side that is equal to another function phi of q and y on other side so we rewrite this as p square by 4 minus x square equal to y square minus q square by 4 we take it as a constant a now taking the first term to the constant a p square by 4 minus x square equal to a from this we are going to get the value of p that is p square by 4 equal to we can take this to the other side so a plus x square and now p square will be 4 into a plus x square and p will be 2 root of a plus x square in the same way we have q square actually it is y square minus q square by 4 so we are going to write y square minus q square by 4 equal to a bringing a here and this q square term to the other side y square minus a is q square by 4 and now q square will be 4 into y square minus a and hence q will be 2 root y square minus a after getting this we take the equation d capital z is equal to capital p dx plus capital q dy now d capital z will be 2 root we can rewrite this as x square plus a dx and 2 root y square minus a dy now we are going to integrate this separately and for this we are going to use a formula integral root of x square plus a square which is x by 2 root of x square plus a square plus a square by 2 sin h inverse x by a plus c in the same way for this one we have minus sign so integral we take integral root of y square minus a square that will be y by 2 root of y square minus a square minus a square by 2 cos h inverse y by a plus c but in these two cases we have a so this we have to rewrite as root a whole square and apply the formula wherever a is there i have to use root a so even here this is root a whole square so anyway we shall write one more step and continue the integration d capital z integral this 2 is a constant taken outside so root of x square plus root a whole square dx plus 2 is taken out root of y square minus root a whole square dy when we apply the formula the first formula and the other side it is z here 2 bracket open x by 2 root of x square plus root a whole square plus a square this is a and when i square i get root a square by 2 sin h inverse x by a so x by root a then plus second term is 2 bracket open y by 2 root of y square minus root a whole square minus root a whole square by 
cos h inverse y by root a we have a constant plus c and now we are going to replace the z z is nothing but z square so we, when we replace it here we get z square equal to and outside we have a 2 when I multiply both these two gets cancelled and same thing even here when I multiply both this denominator 2 gets cancelled so when I write only the remaining term the first term from the first bracket x root x square plus root a square is a and I write this one y root y square minus a apart from that we have root a square is a bracket open and we left with sin h inverse x by root a minus cos h inverse y by root a and we have a constant plus c so this is our required complete solution